Dr. Philip Tangatwe, and I would like to share some of my thoughts about ivermectin for COVID-19. First of all, I would like to say I am not close to the possibility of using ivermectin in the prophylaxis and or treatment of COVID-19. However, what I do object to is the insistence on using it despite the lack, as of this recording, of any standards for use. We have all this anecdotal evidence, all these stories, and yes, I do take them seriously. I myself am a practitioner of Chinese medicine, herbal medicine, acupuncture, and the like, in addition, of course, to being an MD. But I must ask this question. Okay, I want to use ivermectin. How? Is there a standardized dose? Are there standardized indications? When to use it? When not to use it? What to watch out for? There aren't any as of now. But you might say, you practice Chinese herbs. If you practice Chinese herbs, surely you must be open to these things. Yes, I am. But even with Chinese herbs, we always have standardizations. We don't just plop ingredients together. No. We have set indications, set clinical pictures, and well, yeah, not set doses, but set ranges and proportions. For example, in uh, some herbal formulas, you can alter the dose as long as you maintain proportions between several of them. This is important to achieve maximum clinical effect. As of now, we have standards for ivermectin for its approved treatment in clearing parasites. With COVID-19, there aren't any. Now, why is this important for you, the patient, and for people like me, the practitioner? Without a set of standards, without set prescriptions, set dosages, which we derive through conscientious studies and observation, without such standards, how can we be sure with what we're giving you? Okay, so... I give you ivermectin for COVID and it doesn't work and you have side effects. If I follow the standards, we know that it's probably not the ivermectin. But if something happens to you and there are no standards, how can we be sure if it was the ivermectin or not? I hope you understand where I'm coming from here. And ultimately, this is also what I want to say. The manufacturer of ivermectin itself already said do not use it. I think at this point, Maybe in the future it will change. But if at this point the manufacturer says don't use it for this purpose, then it's it's very, very presumptuous for us to think we know better than the guys who make it. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this topic. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you guys soon.